try hack me. Learning path. It's going to be the third room. Come to your pen test plus. We're going to look at the burp suite. So I've already completed a bit here. So it's um, it's just some questions basically. I you know all this is just you know no no answer needed. It would seem so no reason to go through all that with you guys so next one is overview of features and i think i put in the first answer i was just very eager to get started with the room so i can show you something so i kind of want to skip all the trivial no answer provided questions hello microphone all right so what tool could we use to analyze randomness in different pieces? So let's go ahead and just search for randomness. It is a sequencer. Um, oh, <laughs> sequencer, not randomness. Thank you. What, do you what tool can we use to set the scope? Scope, so basically just try and search for the different words here. The scope is target. And you know you go through all of this while only available in the premium version of Birds Group. Now I never had a premium version, so we're going to use the um, community edition. Uh, can we automatically identify different vulnerabilities? So I would like to think that. Um, the scanner is the is the um, the right answer because I never used that before in the community edition. Encoding during data can be particularly useful when examining URL parameters or protections on a form. Which tool you use to do that? So it talked about you know encoding decoding. So I would like to say the decoder would probably be the right answer. Which tool allows us to direct our traffic into burp? So that's gonna be the proxy. Yes. No, and if you don't know what the words means, you know, you should basically read the text. I'm just showing you right now, so you know uh, this is the right way, but I highly suggest that you do read the text and you know understand what's going on, not just following the video, but actually understanding what's going on. Um, which tool allows us to reissue requests? So, reissue, I think this is another, let's just see. So what you're gonna do here is say, look for the word reissue. No, simple. Powerful exception, which tool allows us to reissue requests. So that might be, let me just see, reissue, what do they mean with that? It's either, I think, is it the sequencer? No, then it must be the... Mm, Maybe it's, no, I don't, I'm not really sure what they mean, but it's no, okay, I do not understand the question. Similar concept, but powerful in execution, which tool allows us to reissue, reissue. Repeater then, is that, that, that do, okay, yeah. Repeater is a tool that allows you to repeat a request. So reissue, another way of saying it, you know. It doesn't help not being native in, in the American or English language, so yeah. With four modes, which tool in Burp can we use for rights of purposes such as field fuzzing? Um, that's gonna be the intruder. Yeah. Last but certainly not least, which tool allows us to modify Burp Suite via an ex addition of extensions? Well, Uh, sequencer probably might be it. No. Should allow us to modify. Let me just understand this question. 
which tool allows us to modify perp suite. Okay, so let's try and switch for extensions. Extension, modify is another keyword. Let me just see if I can find it. No. So let's just read this. What did they actually mean? So it's not the um, uh, mm, uh, it should probably be the extend. I never really used that. Yeah. So there are many different things you can do. The extend is similar to adding mods. Yeah, like games in Minecraft. So that is the one calling it mod, calling it different things. Holy moly. Engage, engage dark mode. I don't like that. So, anyways, complete, complete. I must be honest. I don't really care about user interfaces, so this is not important for me at all. All right. So, they are talking about like this is how the proxy work. You have traffic running from you know one side the internet through the proxy, which is on the local machine of ours. If the two here the the, the, I don't know if this is the right or the left, but that side to me, um, um, sky, what is going to call it, a cloud, um, and the proxy is on the local machine, and then the traffic is basically being direct, uh, directed through this um, proxy. You can click some links and read about it. So no answer needed. I'm just going to complete the no answer needed because I'm not really going to do that. By default, the perfect listen to the interface at 127.71 colon 8080. Is that the syntax that I want me to do? Yes. Return to your web page and have a good to the. Yeah. So, which shortcut allows us to forward request to. Um, let's start up Burp Suite. So we can see this. So burp sweet. Yep. And then not all this. Yes. Forward a so the proxy here is um you have the forward, you have the um the drop and open browser and action and intercept is on. So basically, the one is to a six letter answer. I'm going to take the hint. Um, make sure you're using burp 2.0 for this. If you're not, substitute the plus with a dash. Um, all right, so. Weird question. Return to a web page. Web browser navigate to the web application host in the VM deployed. Just a bit ago, note that the page appears to be continuously loading. Change back to Burp Suite. Now we have a request that's writing, waiting for intercept. Take a look at the action, which shortcut allows us to forward the request to repeater. I really shouldn't understand what they want me to say. So I'm gonna turn on Burp in my browser, and if you did this the right way, you will know this is just one way. So right test, and why is it not on? Um, advanced. Oh yeah, we need to install the certificate. We can, I guess, just do that right now. So I guess we can write localhost slash wasn't it ca or something mm. let me just see so burp install cert I'm just doing my last burp install certificate so basically I think this is, I, I should have done this, but 
it's um, so we're gonna go to uh, HTTP dash and then burp suite. Then you get to download the CA certificate. You're just gonna, you know, I guess you could probably could you do that? Just import it. No, you cannot just import it. So we're gonna save the file and then different guides for different browsers. Mine is going there and you say preferences and then you can just type cert, view certificates, import, take the certificate and basically say that you wanna trust that and there we go. Then I should be able to go to Burp Suite and intercept is on and go ahead and do something like test and then you see you have the request here the control dash r is the one for repeater you know that's what they wanted so let's let's give them that um for the repeater i know that is the one so CT CTRL dash R that is what I wrote. It just capitalized it then. No. I that that is C oh I C T R L yeah. <laughs> Spelling is better. <laughs> How about if we wanted to forward a request to intruder? Yeah, CTL. You know, these kind of, I think this is kind of, you know, just redo it. But okay, so what is the name of the first section wherein general web requests are saved? So going back to burp, general web requests. So let's just see. general web requests well yeah, I would say it's probably the dashboard but no sitemap is another scope no HTTP history there's another good one yeah that is general so you know it, this is why it's so important to a ask correct questions because this is, you know, general s section. You know, eh. anyways, yeah, we we got it, we got it. Define in defined an RFC request for comments six four five five as a low latency communication protocol that doesn't require to be in calculation with the name of the second section um, of our saved history in Web Suites. These are commonly used in collaborative application which require real-time updates uh, what is the question what is the name of a section so this is the RFC you can go and read but what is the name of the section saved uh, in HTTP well That is a very good question. I'm not sure what they're asking me, to be honest. <sighs> Web sockets history. I start to the right answer. It was the right answer. So why was that the right answer? What's the name of the section? Save the history. Oh yeah, yeah. They're commonly used. <laughs> commonly used a socket. Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> so I assume if you go to the um, yeah, I have no web sockets going on. If we had, we can see the actual you know communication here. But we have no web sockets. So yeah, what is the match type? So 
Before we move into exploring definition, let's take a look at some of the advanced screens and uh, move over to the options session. Go into the options, advanced options. Yeah. So it asked me. Uh, option sections, the proxy tab, and scroll down. Uh, yeah. What? 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 You, can, you can apply further fine grain rules. What is the match type? Yeah. Uh, this is a section that I'm not really that good with. Let me just do one more time read the question. Move over to the options section of the proxy tab. Proxy options, so yes. What more? And scroll down to intercept client request. I should really read the text. There we go. And you can find further final rules to define which request you would like to intercept. Um, URL, I would say that is the answer. Correct. All right. Um, how about its relationship in situation? Enabling this match rule can be incredibly useful. Following type definition, if you even set on permanently. Um, what is the question? How is this relationship? I'm not sure what they're asking. What is the end operation in the client is a client request? The end what it's is in target scope. Yeah. You know I think this is a weird question, but uh, yeah, let's quickly continue to the seventh task. You know, these no answer required. I'm just gonna basically click them because this is the um, yeah. You should read the text, and so let me just continue with this. Browse around and rest application to build out a page structure. The tab once you visited most of the pages of the site, return to web suite and expand the various levels of the application directory. What do we call this representation of the collective web application? How's the first page called target? You know it. What do we want to browse? Browse around with the application to build. Call presentation. Yeah. Interesting. So, what does it ask again? They. Okay, so they must have to build out our page structure. Once you visit the most. What do we call this representation of the... What do we call it? Sitemap? Um, hardly anything to do with Burp, okay, yeah. All right, what is the term for browsing the application as a normal user? Um, This is probably some slang going on. Okay, so let's go to the start here and say what is going on. Um, yeah. Just browsing the site normal so to the site commonly referred to as happy path <coughs> that we had it I didn't know that to be honest you know you call it happy path it's just like what do you call when two are sitting eating jelly bears it's like 
Jelly you happy eating? I don't know. I don't care about that. Anyways, um, I'm just gonna take the hint, you know, because this is getting weirder and weirder. I want to do some stuff, not answer questions, but these are defin definitions found here are uh, how works, blah, 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 blah. Well, I can start at these. These are going to be particularly helpful for understanding and categorizing. Various findings we might have, which poisoning issue arises when the application behind the cash process input is not included in the which poisoning issue. So um, so it should probably be here somewhere. Poison. No. What's the hint? Browse the various issues. The definition. Uh, no, very few items. Browse through the various issues in the issue def definition section. What? To find this. Issues definition. So. Oh my god. Um, you know what? I'm gonna guess. Uh, whip poisoning, and the middle word should be which poisoning issue. So they give us the answer, do they not? Which poisoning issue arises when an application behind a cache? Cache? I'm gonna do it. Wow. So I don't know where, where they want me to find this, you know, but you know, it's, it's things, words, happy path, you know. Kumbaya, I don't know, I, it's a little weird, but I'm, I'm gonna do it. Anyways, um, alrighty, that's a, that's an old machine. Anyways, yeah. Um, try logging in with Relic Exchange. What error is generated when the login fails? Um, I think I need to start this machine now, to be honest. I cannot, I can't wing it anymore. So let's start the machine. And basically I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, go to my desktop and say, sudo, sudo. Yeah, that's fine. Let's give it. And let's wait for this machine to boot up. I'm gonna pause the video for a second. All right, so we up. Let's go ahead and you know go to web page. What's going on? Um. Uh. Yeah. What's wrong with this? Is it the HTTPS side? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Is it uh, not working? Or what is it? Beautiful. Did they give us a port or something? Did I not? Did I? No. So what's up with this? Fail to connect to. Oh, mamma mia. What is wrong? Hmm. Oh, it's just slow. Okay, so that, that happens sometimes. This is a, the OF juice shop. 
web page. I guess they want me to brute force this login. I can just say the admin and the password and invalid email or password. Is that what they want me to, to give them? All right then, no answer needed. I take that. So, all right, let's just do this. Now that we sent the request to the repeater, let's try adding the request, such as the password. So we need to put single quotes in between. So let's go ahead and uh, intercept this on and capture the request. Send it to repeater, drop that, go to repeater and replace this with single quotes. Basically, that's that's how you do it. Let's send it. And we, of course, have a SQL injection possibilities. So I guess they might want me to say a SQL error. Is that what I want to say? Thank you. No answer needed. No answer needed. No answer needed. And the last one. What field do we have to modify in order to submit a zero star review? What field? So we're gonna go in here and let me just say drop. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I know. I know. Let's go ahead and do, I think, I think we can do, um, do we really need to do anything? Can I just go back a bit? Zero star view view. So we have an admin. Do I need to, do they want me to, uh, what field It's just called review? I don't know. I don't know what the field is called. Okay, so let's, um, where's the review? Review. Mm. Uh, since I'm not locked in, I'm not really able to see it. This is very small. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and guess this. Um, reviews, there we go. Mm, well, another word for review could be, do we want me to go in? I wouldn't, rating, I guess it would be it. Yeah, how did I know that, you know? Could I, can I, do, 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 I think I cannot. So what if I do uh, one, do some S injection. Now this is probably past, just put anything in, let's lock in. Can I do that? Yeah, I would like to end as an administrator now. So let's go ahead and do tests and Intercept is on. I need to turn on that. Test. Do we have any? No, we do not. How could I do a review? Yeah. 
But that is not reviews, isn't it? I'm not really sure where to look. I must be honest, this is just getting out of hand. I must be true. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm logged in as administrator, I know. Really happy about that. Juice. No, I, I find this extremely frustrating. I can almost not use the web page. So, I really doesn't seem like that I can do. What is this? Can I add it to the card? Okay. Somewhere on the web page they say rating, and I'm gonna look for it anymore. It's gonna take far too long. So, all right, download task files. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off that and say it's a text file. Let's save it and open the whatever text file. This looks like, you know, this is something used in, commonly known as a fast attack. So when you're fasting something, trying a lot of, you know, this is SQL stuff. This is to try and verify if there's some sort of SQL injection, which I just did. So I assume they want me to <laughs> log out now. Let's just see. This attack allows us to select multiple payload sets. That would be the, um, um mm, so okay let, let's go ahead and do this the right way so let's go ahead and capture the requests say this log in send it to repeater drop request and sorry not repeater intruder yeah so send it to intruder and we go to the payload section and here we have different kind of payloads. Um, then we have, yeah, sorry, the attack type. We have different kinds here. If it's a sniper, it's one type. Battle ram is another type. Pitchfork is another type. And cluster bomb is another type. Now, I do know the answer to this, but I think we should just, you know, they say multiple payload sets and it kind of stands right there, multiple payload sets. So it's a pitchfork attack. Yeah, I'm gonna remove the burp suite. Continue. How about the attack tab, which allows to set one payload and, all right, one payload Set an area uh, single position we selected simultaneously, and it's two words. It's the one called the battering ram. So I'm gonna take this. You know, I'm must be honest. I almost never use these attacks in my hacking sessions. Which attack types allows us to set multiple? It's gonna be cluster bomb because you know cluster multiple. I guess. That is most commonly used, and this the last one is called sniper, and that is what you probably know as the the common um, brute force attack. So let's complete all these. You got to read it, of course, but for the sake of the length of this video, I'm gonna finally start the attack. What is the first payload that returns a zero? A, sorry, a 200 status code. Um, so they want me to choose what type of attack? Sniper. And the, yes, they want me to do that to the email. So let's go ahead and do that. Go to this one, take sniper, clear all of them. Now when we clear, I know this is small, but I hope you can see it. 
you're gonna you're gonna mark the the text that you wanna replace from the list. So I'm gonna double click test as part of the email and add. So it it puts the funny dollar signs, whatever they call the the funky dollar signs. <laughs> Go to payload. You're gonna load from download. Download this weird file. It was called. Um, I guess that is the one. Yep. And basically that's it. And you're gonna press start attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at some point it's gonna say status code 200 here. We can just sort it so it's gonna be the the the, uh, the lowest one at the top. And at some point it's gonna show us a 200. And then we know the answer to the question. Status code 200 is also the one that HTTP protocol is saying everything went fine. Status code 200 is same as yes, we're good. So now this is running. I'm just gonna verify whether I did this correctly. Um, yeah, so it would be click add. Yeah. <laughs> Do we have anything so far? Oh, wow. And you probably see why I don't use Spurp that much, because it is kinda slow. It is kinda slow. Now, the attack that I used is so far not mentioned. This is actually the one that I used. So it seems like we did something wrong. Let's go ahead and close this down and just say, what did we do wrong with this? Um, mm -hmm. Payload encoding. So I'm just seeing it. Payload encoding. Do so you want to remove it? Okay, so oh yeah yeah. It's it's a clear text attack. I guess that would be the reason. So another reason that I always never use, you know, burp is so many tools, so many things to do, but it's okay. You know, you can do almost any any pen test using burp. You know, it's just a preference, I guess. When you when you know how to use, you know, hydro well enough, and you just know how to do stuff. You know, it's it's just it's just, it's just differently. You 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 find your own preference and basically do that. Let's see if we get the correct one this time. Uh. Du, 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 du. Yep, and we're waiting and waiting and waiting. I don't know how far we're gonna there we have it. That's the payload. So we're gonna say you know what? I can copy paste this. That's the one. Alright, so yeah, let's just, you know, turn it off and do that and you know, close this and say discard and I don't care. So this is not a SQL injection room. If if I I could do that, but it's just gonna be it's already thirty nine minutes and it's gonna become a really long video. So let's close this down here and do the tenth part now. So 
in order to also complete the video, I'm gonna fast pace and click all the no answer needed again. <clears throat> so the question is as the following. Path through the result, what is the effective estimated in trophy in trophy measured in? Uh, it's gonna be on the summary page. Um, yeah so the summary page is again not the right one the summary page summary where was that again but this is this is where I almost certainly never use verb that much I must be honest I don't know where the summary page is in verb What was the hint? In the summary page. Did this show us then? What is the effective estimated? Um, hmm. Yeah. I need to run the attack. Um, yeah, let's just do it. Summary, 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 summary. Um, yeah, you know, okay, okay, okay. So let's um, do this and go back and remove. I'm gonna clear all this and basically do one, two, and start the attack. Can I get a summary, please? Was it? Where's the summary? No. This card. Okay, I must be honest. I have no idea where the summary tab is. Burp. Summary. Tab. Is that the right way? Uh, let's just turn up burp again. So it was placed. It's the first page you look on the overall conclusion degree of randomness assemble. Bit level. Yeah. So, bit, bit, bits. Well, okay. In order to find uh, the usual bits in in of interview, you often use some things from adjustment of data. Where this, which item is converted in this process? Find the bit level analysis. I have no idea where to look for that. Must be honest. I think I think I just you know got lost in all this. Uh, <laughs> token, token, token. Yeah, that might be it. Token. Hooray. All right, then, so decoder and comparer. So let's go do this. So we're gonna complete these two. What character does the percent space? Uh, similar to Cypher Shift decoder has one magic mode, which also make it attempt to decode the magic mode. Um, decode. Smart decode, yeah, okay. It's gonna be smart. Um, let's just see. What can we load into Comparer to see differences in various user roles and access? 
very useful to check for access control issues when we found the start of the task. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um what can we load access control so we need to feed it some sort of I guess path or something a sitemap I guess but uh, no. Did he lie? Didn't he say... What's it called? The answers of one can be found in the text at the start of this task. Okay. No. So you're encoding, decoding, spawn, addition each time, decoding, so I'm similar cipher chef. So we have... Hmm. Hmm. We want me to give it some sort of name. This is just like any test, you know. When I took the certified ethical hacker exam test, you know, all these weird questions, I must say. Uh, similar compare with guess the tool we compare. So station sitemaps. Let's, let's go with that because I did say sitemaps at some point, so I guess that is the answer. Yeah. Compare can use different. Which one allows to, to examine the data loaded is and rather than breaking down into bytes? Which one? Button right of comparer. words yeah you know it's okay installing Jiton mods extender let's go ahead and complete all these you know I'm not sure I'm gonna ever be a fan of burp you know I know it's a really good tool I'm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna find something now just for saying this, I'm not really a fan of Burp. It's okay. It, it, it's really okay, but yeah, just not for just for sending, you know, the tools that I really like is, is basically Intruder, uh, Repeater, and, and you know, rarely I use a decoder, but that's about it. I use all other tools, you know. Which extension allows you to bookmark various requests. Bookmark. Isn't it just bookmark? There you go. But wait, there is more. So we do something about download the task files and we're gonna take the HTML page. Before we conclude, let's take a quick look into the feature of BirdSuite Professional Office. The Perfect Scanner and the Collaborator Client. So they gave me an HTML site. Let's open that. And oh, gonna be a lie. What, what do you want me to do with this? Just look at it and say I do not have a lot of money to buy a professional edition. Then report says, "What is the first critical issue the first critical issue okay let's just I'm not sure what they ask what is the only critical 
issue, the only critical issue. Issue. They are all issues. Oh my mia. Okay. I'm gonna go this one here because it's the first one. It got number one. It issue. Uh, it's long. Okay, I wouldn't have get that. How many certain low issues did Bird find? Are we going to... 12? Is that the answer? Holy Christ. You know, I have no idea what to use this for. I must be honest, looking through a report. I know it's a part of the room, you know, for... for, for come to your plus pen test, I think come to your Pentas Plus. So, I would like to say that <clears throat> this room, I have mixed feelings about it. I did it. I, I tried to skip fast pace as much of it as possible. I want to promote the website called, you know, Port Twig Web Security. It's a really good site. It's, it's kind of like, you know, um, your labs, your learning material, you know, it's a, have lots of labs, you know, just look at this, huge amount of labs about different kind of web vulnerabilities. I would argue these are probably better than the ones for Hack Me Have. So go ahead and visit the Web Security Academy on, on Port Swigger. Also, SANS, they offer some really interesting uh, certifications. They are really expensive. I would not recommend doing that for two reasons. First of all, it is highly expensive. It costs you like five, six thousand dollars or something for this. And just go and look at it. You know, I, I attended uh, one SANS course. I got paid. You know, it, it, it was paid for me. I, I think the material is great, the teachers are great, the certifications are very American. So we're going to ask you trick questions, going to formulate it weirdly, you know, has, I am against these kind of certifications. I like, I like, how would you do it? What do you know? Let's talk about it, reflect upon, you know, what are you going to do? All this, you know, give me five questions, they all look similar, but one of them is more correct. It's like, oh, my mom, yeah, so, yeah. Good material, bad tests. And also, Drew Shop, we have them try hack me. I feel this was a really difficult room for me to complete because it had a lot of, you know, Steps I didn't really enjoy. You probably noticed that in my video. Next one we're gonna do is Nessus, and Nessus is a very popular vulnerability scanner. Just gonna open the room pretty fast and see how. This is probably not gonna be a long room, but it's gonna be, I guess, time intensive in a way. Anyways, we completed the room. Um, I really like this path. I didn't like the room called Burp because I think it's too much of looking for stuff that is not really important for the actual hacking skills. They might be important for the uh, CompTIA Pencils Plus. I highly doubt it, but you never know. So if you like my content, you like my video, please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below and like the video. Bye bye.